Welcome to the NRL previews for round three of the 2024 season as we celebrate multicultural round across the weekend. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by Justin Holbrook to unpack all the games this week. And the second Friday night clash is a rivalry reignited in the Roosters and South. Let's go to the Roosters first. A strong win in round one. Um, but the loss against Manly saw some uncharacteristic numbers, I guess, on the board. I think it was 20 errors and 42%. They're quite easy fixes, really. Well, yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, look, as you mentioned, great start for us in Vegas. A win over the Broncos. And then, yeah, we just made far too many errors against Manly on the weekend. Uh, and, yeah, 40% possession is going to make it hard to win a game. Full credit to Manly, but really disappointing from us, and in particular, for a good round one win. So, yeah, we've got to play a lot better uh, against the Bunnies on Friday night. Uh, looking to a big milestone across the park, um, 300 for Hargraves, uh, an amazing player on the field and, and awesome to see him back out here for this game. Absolutely, it's great to have him back, yeah, and you know, we got him back last week, but 300 games for a front row is huge. He's a, he's a great leader, always has been, and it's going to be a huge occasion um, against our biggest rivals here on Friday night, but yeah, Jared. You know, enormous um, personality in our game and every, he's the sort of player that people tune in to watch you know he plays it, uh, with his heart on his sleeve that's for sure uh, and it's going to be great to see him run out there uh, in that big game. Uh, Kiri out and a couple of other new faces return to the fold as well too. Yeah absolutely unfortunately for Luke picking up the head knock so Cena Smith comes in who's, who's a great little competitor so it will be great for the opportunity. Um, yeah great to have Angus Crichton uh, and Connor Watson back in so um, yeah probably uh, deserve their opportunity opportunity and um, yeah, they'll play well for us. All right, I won't get you to give too much more away on that side. Over to South, uh, there have been some changes to key personalities in that South outfit. Um, they can be a dangerous side when their back is up against the wall though and they're chasing that first win of the season which is just that extra bit of spite as if this rivalry didn't need enough. That's right, as you mentioned, it doesn't need anything <laughs> let alone them sort of not starting the way they would have liked being none from two and obviously made changes, you know, Dean Hawkins comes in in the seventh position so um, and obviously get Jack White and who's a huge inclusion been waiting to make his debut for South so as you mentioned, backs against the wall which is going to make them even more dangerous even though they, they didn't need extra motivation so look on Honestly, I think even if you're a neutral fan, you're not a South or, or Rooster, you, you're going to want to watch Friday night's game. It's, it always brings out a, a terrific spectacle, um, in particular now that, that it's a really important game for both sides. You know, we need to bounce back and, and South are chasing that first win. And um, yeah, it's a big expectation on the game and I think it'll deliver for everyone on Friday night. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justin. As you said, the Sydney Derby is close to a sellout. If you want to see this match live, get in quick. Head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game though, you can watch it across Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 8pm.